Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die with the Rebirth Overhaul. I am the Bearded OG, and this is Nick. Nick, say hello. Roof. <laughs> uh, so we are, uh, the plan for this episode, rather, is to go out and just start doing a whole bunch of purges. Uh, so I have a thousand and two, uh, 762 rounds, the most we've ever had so far, because I've spent quite a bit of time off camera mining up the resources t to do that um and so we got lots of ammo i've got uh, two weapon or firearm repair kits plus we still have about you know 30 percent or so on the m60 i'm gonna bring some twinkies with me because you guys told me in the comments to eat a twinkie when a horde attacks because it it uh does a rampage thing i have no idea what that is so we'll find that out i suppose when the time comes uh speaking of hordes i do have um, a Molotov, uh, or 22 rather, Molotov cocktails, and we did also fight uh, another horde in between um, episodes. Alright, so yeah, I think uh, we're ready to go. I'm, I'm a little bit low on water, but I'm not in bad shape on water, So, but we got lots of money too, so we can stop off of the trader at some point and get some more of that. Oh, the other thing that I did, I'll show you down here, is I put up a few defenses around the place. Uh, I don't know... I don't know how effective these are going to be with a big horde, but it's you know better than absolutely nothing. Um, and I did go harvest some steel to start repairing some of these blocks that were really damaged. Uh, but those two, of course, I, I haven't upgraded because that's going to take 20 steel just alone. Um, and, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass right now to, to get steel. I also did upgrade to the blue fire axe. I have a green pickaxe, right? Yeah. Um, and I made an orange ratchet. So those are our upgrades so far in terms of our tools. All right, so I want to be kind of systematic about this. Uh, so we are in, we're pretty much in the uh, northeastern part of town. Um, maybe what we could do, though, is start working, you know, kind of the eastern side of town and working our way uh, to the west, I suppose. Or we could do it the other way around. We could work in the north and start working south. I guess it doesn't really matter a whole lot. So yeah, why don't we why don't we go ahead and work from uh, east to west and also south. Now I don't know if I am if I'm at the correct level at this point. Oh, you know what? I need gas too. I just realized that I don't have any I don't have any extra gas in my thing. Um, Okay, well, that's obviously going to be uh, an off-camera thing, because the only way I can get it at this point is to salvage. But, um, anyway, what I was saying is, I don't know if we're 
so, you know, ready for a level three. I mean, we could certainly do a level three. It's just that, do uh, am I at the right level for it? We have Nick with us, so that's going to help. But I'm not sure, like I said, if there's anything in here that would indicate, um, you know, if if we're ready for it, because I know that. What happens at rebirth? Zombies that you kill have an increased chance of being reborn when you reach level. Four. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. We got to go talk to the black shield, black tower, black something or other guy. Because he'll, he'll talk to us once we hit level 15. Let's go do that first. And maybe Rekt will have some more water too. I don't know if he does. Uh, but anyway, uh, I guess what we'll do is we could try that um, Favalis Academy, which is a tier 3, and just see how it goes. I feel like it's, you know, overwhelming me, then maybe we're still not ready for tier three yet. I just, I'm not sure how to gauge that. Um, and we're getting close to our next drop too. So just trying to see if that indicator in the lower left hand corner tells us anything at all about, you know, the appropriate level for a purge. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out though. We always do. All right, let's see, first of all, if there's any water in here. There isn't, because I already bought it right. Okay. It's the next day in real life for me, so... Um, I'm just coming off of an, a, a work day here, so I'm trying to get my head back in the game. Uh, yeah, this guy over here. Ra Rael? Rael? Yeah, I see your inventory. Mercenary Protection Tier 1. This is a contract between be, uh, bleep, between you and the mercenary guild. A group of one merc mercenary will come to your aid when you most need it. Repeatable and lasts one minute. Cooldown is 20 minutes. Uh, short. Oh, and the, we do the insert. Cost is 1350. Okay. You are protected by the Mercenary Guild Tier 1. Nice. Okay, so if things really start getting rough for us, we hit the Insert key. And then we have a Merc that comes and helps us out for one minute with a 20-minute cooldown. Very cool. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Insert key. <laughs> when the shit hits the fan, you insert. That's what you do. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go back to Favalis Academy and try it, and <clears throat> either we'll do well or we won't. Okay, there are 36 bads in here, and they're already awake. <clears throat> okay. So, let's see. Nick, you are on... Don't attack unless I attack. And full control. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, get him, Nick. All right. All right, any of you guys super fast? If not, we're just going to... We're going to mess with you a little bit here. Okay, Nick just got that one. How did you escape the flame? That is not allowed. Go get him, Nick. Oh, Nick is useful. Totally useful. Feral Ronnie McDonnie. Trying to conserve ammo as much as possible here. All right, good boy, Nick. Good boy. Oh, wow, this is different in here than it is in vanilla. Look at all these resources. It's kind of nice. Sand, paper, and, and stone, because it's like sheet rock, right? Okay. Let's make sure this is loaded. 
see a weapons bag right there. All right, I'm not actually going to harvest all these resources, at least not right now. Everything I'm getting is low grade. Okay, let's check. Anything behind those guys? No. Can we pick up... We can't pick up a wooden desk. We can pick up the metal ones, but not the wood ones. That's interesting. Or maybe it's just because it's open. I don't know. Not really sure what the deal is with that. Yeah, let's go this way. Working stiff tools. Okay. Uh, just, just two. He is feral, though. Uh, are you dead? Yeah, he did. Okay. You're not feral. Okay, cobblestone, cement, and boards. It's useful. Not, not, nothing to write home to mother about, but it's useful. Hey, there we go. A vitamin. Okay. Not really seeing anything in here. I hear more footsteps. Where are they coming from? Upstairs, maybe? Yeah, there's a nice little bit of resources in here. Come back and harvest that at some point. Can I pick... Can I pick this up? What's it sell for? 16, okay. That's me. Does this work? Oh, it does. Fantastic. Oh, there you are. Just one. Get him, Nick. Okay, we got somebody else's attention. No oh, shit. Man, Nick is useful. You're a good boy, Nick. Oh, gotta keep an eye on his health. He's he's not invulnerable. His uh his footsteps are a little bit unnerving because they don't. You know, they sound like human or zombie footsteps, not dog footsteps. <laughs> so that throws me off. Oh, big mama. Nick, get her. <laughs> Poor Nick. All right, let's not keep Nick locked in there with these assholes. That's not fair. Stamina. Okay, lumberjack's down. All right, Nick, get over here. We gotta watch his health. Okay, um, I want you to stay here and heal up a little bit. Got to remember to do that mercenary thing because it's, it's brand new. So sometimes I have trouble remembering shit like that. Nothing behind there. Yeah, I see one, two, three. 
Three zombadoos. Trying to mind my stamina here. Um, do I have to go, I have to go up, up to Nick to unfreeze him. There's not like a keyboard command for that, huh? What the hell? That was weird. All right, 12 entities left. So he's 455 of 657. So let's, le let's leave him out here a little bit longer. We should probably pay attention to our own health, though, too. I made a bunch of this, just the cheap-ass bandages. So let's um do a couple of those. I also have three more ratatouilles, so we can take those. All right, let's take one of those. This gets her health back up a little bit. Um, let's also put a few things in here. I need to I need to take a look and see how many blueprints I have. Because I have not been paying attention to the number. I just, you know, pick them up. Uh, I don't want that. I mean, we can use it to make sand, but it's just not a big deal. Okay. So, three areas left, 12 entities estimated. You know, once this building, we clear this building, it's nice to know that we have a, a vending machine that we can come back and get stuff out of. Because, you know, the zombies will never repop in here once we clear it. Not on the perch. Got a pair of gloves there. We'll have to look in a hat. Um, this is not as good as what we have. And that is a little bit better than what we have. Alrighty then. Uh, I mean, not by a... It, I don't know. It's so insignificant. And the ones I'm wearing are fully repaired. I think I'm going to keep the ones I have. Miso. Make more Purina tamales. What's that? Prussian Blue Remedy. Oh, it cures radiation. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll hang on to that. Plus, we got another vitamin and an antibiotic. Good stuff. Let's pick this up for scrapping. And we'll pick these up for selling. Have we tried to see what a filing cabinet is worth? Uh, not enough to take up a slot. That's just a normal monitor. That's a computer. Yeah, okay. Those are worth picking up. And we will, of course, sell these armor pieces. But those end table lamps, I don't, I don't think they're worth a whole lot. Right, got a medium-sized food thingy with a red tea. And this makes us... What's this do again? Run speed carrying capacity for five minutes. Okay. Let's sell the refrigerator. How much was that? Yeah, that's 42. I don't remember what the stove was. I'll eventually get this down to where I know what's worth grabbing and what isn't. Okay, 34. That's not too bad. Good. I, I'm actually glad that this vending machine doesn't work because then we can take it apart for steel and other things. Though if it did work, that would be fine too because then we'd have even another one. 
that we could use, right? Am I right? Okay. All right, can we pick this up? We cannot, but we can get some parts from it. What's this oven hood worth? 16? Eh, I don't think so. I think my my threshold's going to be... It has to be higher than 16 to be worth taking up a, an inventory slot. Speaking of which, I don't remember. What was this one again? 16, yeah. Okay. Let's see how Nick's doing. Damn, uh, we are out of space. We could just go home and drop off because it's right there. Uh, come with me. Oh, shit. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> now we're going to have to rename him Nick again. Change your name. That's all the stuff he had in his inventory. Yeah, let's go ahead and... I mean, I guess I'll grab that too. Let's go drop off real quick and then we'll come back and get the upstairs done. All right, let's continue on here. So I believe we're finished with the bottom floor. Got a couple lockers here. What does a locker uh, sell for? 11. Nope. Not going to do it. Okay. Uh, let's go up this way. We still have 12 entities left, estimated. And we have activated two of them. Let's let him punch a hole in the wall and then we'll thump him with our melee until the door breaks. Lots of chairs and stuff up here. Another armor piece. Okay, we have a soldier and a feral skinny Pete. Oh, shit. We woke some more up. All right. I don't feel like I'm in control of the situation. Let's run back down here. Okay, Nick, let's let him come to us, buddy. My health is actually not in very good shape. Got Feral Ronnie McDonnie. Got another booger. Not too bad. What's that? Sticks. Let me take a couple more of these and some more ratatouille. It says a one area estimated four enemies left. Okay, we got a working stiff. That's uh that's an actual working generator bank. Oh nice, because we we picked one up with our wrench, but we have to uh we have to repair it. So that one we don't have to repair. This is 
not as good as what we have. I mean, it's got some be other better stats, but we'll just end up selling it. Bombs? No bombs in here. SMG turret. We found the shotgun turret one or two episodes ago, so that's nice. Can we check this? All right, there's a. There are a bunch of zombies out on the roof out here. Uh, or is it different than it used to be? Okay. Not seeing a lot of zombadoos out here. Let's get the radiator off of this for brass. And we'll get some electrical parts from the conduit. Oh, another one. Nice. All right. We've got a bird. That's it? Oh, wow. Okay. Nope. I know. I didn't finish loading my weapon. Really would like to find a bandolier mod. Okay. We got more radiators. Nothing in there. Munitions box. All right. Decent. That's worth $77. Make you holla. Okay. I'm going to wrench all of these radiators or air conditioners rather. Okay, we got some stuff in here to loot. Let's see what's in there. Nice. That's locked. Saw blades. And an anvil. What's that worth? 52? Okay. Uh, toolbox is not worth anything to speak of. Oh, look at that. Our first toilet pistol. Hmm. We have no skills in pistols, though. And I think I would prefer to turn all of the 9 mils we get into, or exchange them for 7.62s. Um, can we wrench this? Well, yeah, we can't pick it up. So we'll just wrench it. And let's wrench this too because, oh, we got a saw blade off of that. That's good. There's an actual bandage, which I think, um, yeah, I think we're going to take that right now because we're, we're really not in very good health right now. Oh, nice. Two more air conditioners. Okay, I think that takes care of Valles Academy, and it was a Tier 3, and it wasn't that bad, really. Uh, it was a little intense, but nothing we couldn't handle, so I think we are at a level to where it's appropriate for us to be doing Tier 3s now. Um, 
I'm going to take these. They're going to make me thirsty, but they're also going to heal me. And we have three waters, so we'll take... Let's just take one water for the moment. Um, I wonder if I can jump down there without... Yep, yeah, okay, we're good. So, all right, everything in this corner is cleared. I really like the fact that we have the check marks too, you know, to help us with that. Um, this is also a tier three uh, and it's a farm. So let's do that next. We also have a tier zero. It's just going to be a little outdoor camp we could do too. All right, so I'm going to go drop stuff off. I'm going to run these radiators down to the trader and put them in the scrapping machine. And then I'll meet you guys over there. And we'll do some more purges. This is kind of fun. I like it. All right. Let's actually uh, do a tr ammo trade and some selling. We get 11.762s. And then we're going to sell him all of this stuff. We're currently at 37.05. Oh, uh, no. We don't want to sell those. I want to sell those. All right, so that got us up to forty-six seventy-nine. Not too bad. Uh, do you have anything? Uh, show me your inventory. Yeah, you got a couple of those things. I'll I'll put those back at the base on the way back. Uh, what are we doing? We're going uh, over to the to the shredder. Fifteen hundred, nice. Let's see if I don't think this vending machine has restocked yet. No, it restocks on day seventeen. That's tomorrow. Okay. Nice. So when we hit level twenty, we should be able to yeah, we'll be able to do this quest for the distiller. So if we don't find it by then, then as soon as we hit 20, we're doing this, man. Because I really would like to have that distiller. And I have not seen a single one so far. But we haven't also we also haven't been in a lot of POIs yet either. But that'll change, you know, because we really need to buckle down and get working on this if we're, you know, if we are going to have a chance to clear the pie for us. I mean, we're only 5% of the way there. That's That's pathetic. Uh, so it might even end up being a situation where I might start doing the smaller ones off camera and only doing the big ones on camera. Because, I mean, after a while, it's just going to kind of get a little tedious, I think, for you guys to keep watching. So we'll just see how that goes and, you know, we'll figure it out. All right, nice. 1,580 brass. That will give us a decent amount of casings. All right, yeah, we're not even we're not even anywhere close to a hundred of any of these DNA thingies, uh, but I'm gonna start keeping them in this box so that way they're all consolidated. Let's go to our forge here and make some bullet tips and 316 bullet casings. That's nice. All right, this is that tier zero POI, so let's knock it out first. I see two Zeeks. What the hell is he run? Oh, because it's nighttime. I was going to say, he's not feral. <laughs> he's like running like a bat out of hell. Who else do we have? Uh... Oh, that's a, that's a wolf. Okay. Get him, Nick. Dog fight. Oh, shit. Five targets perched? What? We only killed two. Why does it say five targets? I don't get it. Okay. Well, that was easy. 
Is there anything significant here? It's just a mound of dirt, basically. There is there like an underground area, maybe? Not that I can tell. It's just a mound of dirt. Oh, there's, well, yeah, there's a duffel bag up here. Hey, look at that. Um, in fact, yeah, let's take that now. I think it, it warrants, it's warranted. So this is Duffel Bag Hill. That's what this is called, in case you guys didn't know. Our next POI is this farm that I've done a few times in the past, but never... Oh, look at that. Nice. Um, what did it... Wait a minute there. Where did, where did it say we had to craft it? Oh, in a, in a chem station, which we don't have yet. Chemistry station. Okay. Crafted in a beaker at a chemistry station. Right. Okay. So this is the place where we start in the house and then you have to go underground to the barn. What could possibly go wrong? Right? It's going to be a walk in the park. You guys know it. Grab some corn while we're here. And some chrysanthemum. Any chance these give us corn seed? Probably not. They wouldn't in vanilla. Potatoes. Uh, I'm not going to take one cotton or one grass. Uh, not going to take five nitrate either. Because I can mine that easily. Let's get some wood. All right, so I think we start this by climbing up that lattice there. There is a dog house back here. Does that mean there's zombo dogs? There's a deer. It's actually almost more like an elk. Uh, we're not going to shoot him. I would, but I don't want to waste bullets, and we have plenty of meat at the moment, so. Okay. Tumbles? Hey, there they are. All right, we finally found some headphones for the Walkman. Take it. Goblinos Sweetened Multigrain Cereal. Can I pick that up? Oh, no, not, not, not if it's damaged. Okay. See that? <laughs> His footsteps, man. <laughs> They're always like freaking me out. There's a tire of some sort. There's a motorcycle wheel. The door's locked. Hmm. It's quiet. Too quiet. Okay, I see three dots. And they are awake. Okay. Does that mean he's being healed by... 
zombie brute. Hmm. Zombie bomber. Oh shit. Bomber? That sounds scary. So it's in the toolbox. We'll take that stuff. Alacrim. Oh, we need a toolbox to to make the banded bandage bandaid. Zombos. Okay, no zombos in there. Hey, what in the hell's the matter with you? Oh shit. Kind of gross. All right, that door's locked. It wants to go out on the roof and into hither. Zombie closet right there. Let's close this door. Nope. Uh, we'll pick this up. Don't remember what the desk lamp sells for. Let's check. 16. Nope. I'm not going to do it. Nada. Books. We already know that recipe, but we can't make it because we need a fucking distiller. Zombie brute. Ugly. Nick, what are you doing in there? Come out here. Is there a friendly fire? Can I accidentally shoot Nick? Hope not. Estimates 13 enemies left. There's an ammo pile in there. Some more uh, genetic thingies. Tuna fish gravy toast recipe. Uh, we need the iron oven. Yeah, all of the good stuff requires the iron oven. And I think we have to be level 30 before we can do the quest for it. There's some brass. Oh, speaking of which, I should be taking these doors apart. But, you know, that's something I can also do off camera. So we can come back into any of these places at our leisure and grab stuff without having to worry about repops. Right, Nick? Right. He says right. Uh, do we get all of these? Yeah. Okay. Didn't get any brass out of that. There's a safe. 
Oh, are those armor piercing? Nope, guess not. Nick, your footsteps, man, they're killing me. Uh, all right, I don't have any lockpicks on me. I should probably make some, but it won't take too long to break through this. Alrighty. And I think that's it for in here. Let's go down into the tunnels. See how many we have 13 left. Okay. Ish. Shit. Ammo. Nice. Uh, I'm going to start selling these. I've been, like, looting a shit ton of them. They're, they're worth a decent amount of money. I mean, how many do we need, right? At some point, we might have a, a couple of forges. Uh, but I can't imagine we would need more than maybe four at the very most. Let's get the brass from this. Pretty encumbered right now, too. Um, all right, let's before we get too much further in through here, I'm gonna go drop some stuff off on the bike. So this uh rogue hood that we looted is a little bit better than our lumberjack, and they're both in about the same condition. So let's switch these out. Awesome. We match. We're a matching rogue. What more could you ask for? All right, let's press on. Nobody in there. Get the wood. I still haven't gotten any brass from harvesting a barrel yet. I was told in the comments that you could get it. Unless they said just to loot them. Maybe that's what they said and I misunderstood. Very possible that that's the deal. Uh, okay, so I guess that's it for in here. Uh, aren't there rattlesnakes down here? Oh shit. Just leveled in dexterity. Oh, we got a lot of dots coming this way. Let's go, Nick. It says there's five left, or estimated five left. 
Um, all right, let's take. Trying to be uh, frugal with the ammo here. Level 18 already, jeez. Get him, Nick. Okay, two more dots on the radar, on the compass, rather. Can we? Yeah, we can. Okay. This kind of gives us a fallback location if we need it. I guess I didn't grab this. Are they going to come down the ladder? What are they going to do? They're trying to. That's it. We got it. Nice. Yeah, I think we're definitely good to be doing tier threes. It's just about right for our level, I would say. Not too hard, but not a walk in the park either. Pick that up. Normally in vanilla, there's a bunch of Zeeks in here, but it looks like they already activated. All right, take the repair kit. We got to make a some uh, dew collectors for our our garden. Have to get the seed. Uh, S7. Okay. I think that's just nitrate. Nothing over here. Trash bin. Always happy to take the glue. All right, weapons bag. Oh, that's actually, can we put that on here? Uh, no, we don't have enough thingy uh, spots for it. We could put it on here, I guess. Because this is also... Yeah, that's also fully modded, too. All right, I guess we'll put it on our Kniffy. Yeah, we'll have to break into that. Our ammunition. Herbal antibiotic. And then the rest of these are going to be break into. Popping pills. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's take this big guy right now, because we are not in the best of shape. And then we'll put this one down here. Chance for some more meds here. Oh, yeah. And also vitamins. So we're up to six vitamins now. That's great. You know, we could, um, once we do get the chem station, we could take a vitamin and then go into the desert to get oil shale. So it's not like we, you know, we can never go in there.
Another beaker. Okay. That's not bad loot. And I think we are finished here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. Um, we made some pretty good progress. We knocked out two tier three POIs and then a couple of, couple of little ones and uh, we leveled. So uh, what are we level? Yeah, uh, level 18. So two more levels and then we'll be able to do the the mission to get the distiller. And that's going to be a, a pretty big milestone, I think, in the game. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to the base and put stuff away, make some more ammo, that sort of thing. And then um, I need to go uh, wrench up some cars for gasoline. So I'll, I'll do that off camera. And then in the next episode, I think we'll just continue purging because that's what we need to do. And so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.